Tom Cruise is one of the world's biggest action stars, if not the biggest, while his ex-leading lady Katie Holmes originally climbed into our hearts after starring in Dawson's Creek. Although they're now worlds apart, they were at a time Hollywood's biggest IT couple. That was until Katie was desperate to find a way out of their marriage that she had to come up with a plan to completely blindside Cruise with divorce to escape his controversial lifestyle. From a quick engagement to a seemingly shocking divorce, it's safe to say that the pair's journey together turned out to be a very unexpected one indeed. And although both are household names, it would seem that very few people know what went on in their relationship, and Tom no longer has contact with his daughter. Well, we're here to help you fill in the gaps, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the Rumor Juice channel. It was back in 2005 when the pair went public with their relationship, and it wasn't long after that when they announced their engagement. At the time, the two were completely head over heels in love with each other, gushing about their new love interest during almost every interview. You know, unfortunate there. She's an amazing woman. Remember that famous interview where the actor jumped on Oprah's couch to show the world just how obsessed he was with his new love? The two impatient lovers were very eager to start a family and welcomed their daughter Suri into the world about seven months before they were actually married. Unfortunately for Suri, she was not about to get any siblings anytime soon, as in an unexpected turn of events, Holmes filed for divorce after five and a half years of marriage. There have been many speculations as to why Katie was so desperate to get out of her relationship with Tom. By now, we all know that Tom is a member of the Church of Scientology. In fact, he's reportedly one of the top three in command. And although Holmes converted, she has admitted that Scientology was also one of the reasons she wanted to get a divorce. Katie was overwhelmed with anxiety as she started to worry about the future of her daughter. Katie's family admitted that she had reason to believe that the actor would abduct Suri and intimidate her into joining the Church of Scientology. She knew exactly just how much Scientologists involved themselves in the lives of their members, given they were the reason she met Tom in the first place. That's right, get ready for one unique start to a relationship. Turns out that the risky business actor had his eye on Katie long before she was even aware that he knew who she was. It all started after Tom's divorce from Nicole Kidman, when he decided to get back into Scientology while at the same time growing desperate to find love again. Unfortunately, it wasn't so easy, as he had a rather large obstacle ahead of him. You see, Scientology has a certain procedure for how they expect their members to find suitable partners. At the time, there were even rumors that he had, quote, auditioned women to become a possible future wife. But a source of the church rectified this statement, claiming it was all a big misunderstanding and explained what actually happened. Turns out that several young women were vetted by the church and, quote, tried out as Tom's next wife before Katie was chosen. Before settling on Holmes, Tom had his eye on the modern family actress Sofia Vergara. The two were set up and had a trip to the Scientology Celebrity Center in Hollywood. But his way of living was, unfortunately, not something that Sophia was interested in. They then tried with actress Scarlett Johansson, but they were unsuccessful. Their prayers were answered, all thanks to a 2004 Seventeen magazine article with Katie. In the interview, Holmes, who was dating Chris Klein, told the magazine, I used to think that I was going to marry Tom Cruise. Unlike the other actresses Cruz had approached, Holmes seemed to embrace Scientology, which was a major win for them. It wasn't long after that until Katie was asked to audition for the next Mission Impossible movie. Although she didn't get the part, six months later, Klein and Holmes announced their breakup, and just one month after that, Tom and Katie made their red carpet debut in Rome. Coincidence? Unfortunately, we'll probably never know, but it wasn't always sunshine and daisies for the couple. In fact, for Katie, it was far from it. Given how big of a movie star her husband was, it's not surprising that Katie grew tired of being known as Mrs. Tom Cruise. After getting married, she completely lost her identity and sense of self, and unfortunately, her career was in shambles as well. She saw actresses like Michelle Williams and Anne Hathaway who were with her on the show and felt disappointed with the turn her career went compared to theirs. She quickly became desperate to become her own woman again, one with an independent and exciting career ahead of her. Holmes started to realize that the part of the reason she wasn't being hired anymore was that people didn't want to have Tom Cruise around on set. He was reportedly very controlling over what kind of movies and scenes she was allowed to do, supposedly, at times, even telling the directors how to do their job. This turned out to be a source of depression for Katie, and she no longer lived the life she had once hoped for. 
she felt as though she had no other choice but to secretly come up with a plan to escape. And so she did, completely blindsiding the 58-year-old with a divorce. The actress planned to file for divorce months before she broke the news to Cruz, with a whole step-by-step -step plan on how to get out of the marriage. She used disposable phones whenever she made calls involving the divorce, and hired three law firms in three different states. All this effort to avoid Cruz and his staff knowing all of her plans makes you wonder just how involved was the actor in her life. And because the Church of Scientology insists on divorces being handled internally, Katie had no choice but to blindside both Tom and the church by handling it all outside of their jurisdiction. Tom was shocked and extremely disappointed when she broke the news, but he agreed to make things easy for both of them, and it only took them 11 days to come up with a settlement. Katie's number one concern was for her daughter, and thankfully for Holmes, she received primary custody of then six-year-old Suri. Suri Cruz is without a doubt one of the most famous celebrity kids in the world. Unfortunately, the former it couple's divorce had a traumatic effect on the little celeb. Tom and Katie's relationship ended up gaining a lot more attention for two major and shocking reasons. The first reason was due to the blind side, and the second was because after the divorce, the Mission Impossible actor cut all ties from his one and only biological daughter. Yep, you heard right. Poor little Suri Cruz was only six years old when her happy family was shattered into a million little pieces. After the divorce, Katie received primary custody. The settlement granted visitation rights to Tom, allowing him to see his daughter for 10 days every month. But it didn't seem as though he ever cashed in, because since their divorce, Katie Holmes has been raising their daughter all by herself. Being a member of the Church of Scientology, he was, quote, not allowed to see Surrey or have a relationship with his daughter due to the fact that she doesn't follow the same religious practices. There has, however, during the past few years been speculation on the matter. A source of the church opened up to the media and mentioned that members are allowed to see their children of other religious faiths. It was, in fact, the actor's choice to cut ties with his one and only daughter. During the past few years, there have been rumors that Cruz wanted to reunite with his daughter, that he regrets spending so much time apart, but there is still no news that he's made an effort to see her. Now, you would think after their divorce, Katie would be photographed with at least one or two Hollywood bachelors. Well, think again. It's rumored that Katie and Tom's divorce settlement stipulated that she was not allowed to publicly date for five years after their split. This would account for why, until 2017, Holmes appeared to be far away from the dating scene. But that doesn't mean she wasn't dating. Katie Holmes was in fact in a long-term relationship with Jamie Foxx during this time, but only made the relationship public after the five-year contract with Tom ended. As for Tom and Katie, well, guess we'll just have to see what information is revealed next. There is no doubt that they were by far one of the most unique and controversial couples Hollywood has seen over the years, with a story that is without a doubt one of a kind from the beginning to the end.